hello guys welcome back to my channel this is peter in this video we're trying to create this particular design yeah, i'll be showing you how i created it now this was a design i actually created by who i was teaching my master class student how to create background so unluckily we stumbled upon this so i believe i have every of my elements here <laughs> i didn't i didn't even plan to make any created design i just wanted to teach them how to make background but however we have this so we will kick this off with so before we go on i just want to let you know i'll be hosting a training a graphic design training on how you can design using your smartphone if you want to boost your graphic design skill or you're just starting out then this this course is for you it's supposed to be a training so if you're watching this video depending on when you're watching the video the course should be will be available for you you can get it 2005 you can get it why before i increase the price so we're using application like ibx paints x photoshop touch and pixel lab i'll show you how i make compelling design using my smartphone something like even this one and and many more on this one and the likes you'll be seeing them on your screen just like using your smartphone all right let's continue now if you want to join our master class you can join us in nigeria it is five thousand in we're not using just pixel lab pixel lab is by many ways limited so i have this here i'll be sending this to the front So for this, I want this to actually blend with my background. So I have to make sure the lights are. So see, I think the light is kind of uniting with. Yeah, I think the light is actually in line with my with this. So I can increase the size. Okay, beautiful. Okay, just flip this. Okay. Let's come to crop then. Okay, so we actually want them to be uniform. Think they are not uniform now let's use a kind of So um, if this is 51, so this should be opposite from minus 51. However, no, they just tilt it anyhow. Okay, beautiful. Oh dear. See, I was just really doing something different. I just noticed I was doing something different. So I used different different angle and I was expecting it to work. No, that was actually having a bit. So 
so we have this wow i can't believe i spent a while trying to arrange this thing together so i'll just just come here now oh i copy this reduce the size i beg you can flip it this way and we give him a headache like, a bit like that again you can position this one here so it's not even looking like not going to look like as if it was alphabet we we'll copy it position this one here okay we'll lock this so let's get this let i copy it this time position it like this so this time it's going to be like this all right so we're going to increase this one send this to send this to the front increase this put So this was the one we did first. Okay, now I don't want them to be too too big that to be covering my model's head. And next thing I can reduce my model too. Alright, beautiful. So we have this. <laughs> we'll lock this. And if you if you actually want to learn how to use do make stunning designs, come and join that class. So I think the size of this model is good. I, I can't see if I think. Okay, no, this is that was. So we'll, we'll leave it like this. Any that in our wash. We just drop this come to drop oh again okay. i can increase this just so you can just by default it's in black anyway just draw around this area now we just draw this close this side so i can just reduce the opacity All right, beautiful. So let's send this. Let's put that half of a day. So you can see we're almost done. Practically, we're done. So we we'll bring this speaker to the front. I did this design by mistake. It's not by mistake anyway. I was just teaching my master class student how to create backgrounds. So and we just um, stylishly played with this. Now this type of thing comes by mastery. Is not my consistent. I remember when I was my first class, I tried to do a design by by okay by chance, and I wasn't able to do it. So this is just because I mastered the art of making good designs. Now this looks like a club uh, party vibe. I just feel this thing is too choked up. Like you, know, you can't compare with the other one. Let me bring it, the previous one. Let's bring this in. Oh. Let me send it. Let me take it behind those speakers. So I don't want it to be too. Oh, let's lock. We oh, lock this one. So those speakers. Let me bring one of those speakers out. Oh, I think I think it's it's kind of look cool. This other one too. It looks cool. Then my model model was quite big. Okay, so you have the image you'll be using my my original design. You have it there with you. If I had not send it. Well, I know I'm not used to sending. Just let me know. Okay. Now 
no, this this is cool. I don't want to be too busy and too jump up. Alright, so I can hide this. So so the text I brought it to the front. So I'll bring this. Always make use of your grid. Lock this. Okay, if it is too close to this side. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me bring in a logo. MC Mirella. Is that she's a Brazilian or she's a Portuguese? I don't know. I think okay beautiful so let's see the original one all right so all right then we are done so I wrote this one here Noah's Ark. Now this has, this should have been probably placed. All right, so we have this. So we will just come here save our image. All right, so I'll, I'll go now to PSCC Photoshop Touch. Photoshop Touch. If you don't have it, follow the link in the description of this video. Go to my Telegram channel. You will see the PS Touch. Okay, now I will just click on Plus Photo Library. Then I will come to Photos. So I will go to my Pixel Lab. So it should be appearing on top of my Pixel Lab. So this is it. Now, um, the reason I actually place this Noazak event here is because I don't want to bring in much this thing. If you're doing yours, I don't advise you to bring it. If you, if you just come to PSCC and position it there. Okay, we have um not Pixel Lab. Not my Pixel Lab folder. I have is this MCC something. You know, we created that design sometimes back. So this is it. Then I'll bring this in here. Now, whenever you're using PSCC, you you notice most times you won't be able to only bring in some other layers. Because I'm telling you the layers, you just come here and resize it. If you can get the exact exact size, like this is square size now, so it's one ratio one. So I can use one thousand two hundred. Okay, so it's equal. This is going to shrink. It will shrink a bit, but I can just use my two hand to do it. Now I can import as many layers as possible. 
so i will hide this i love duplicating i like so in case i do mistake on this one i can easily trace it so i'll come i'll come to transform so i'll position it to be on that light all right or better still let me let is because i actually know what i'm doing so let me change the blend mode to screen transform now let when that thing is at that intersecting on that so so now beautiful is as if the light is glowing on that you can see as if the light is glowing there yeah beautiful so we can now click on this come to this side okay we can leave it to about 90 now that's your choice anyway ah oh, beautiful so we will click on plus duplicate this layer we'll come to this side and transform we'll come to now go to transform now position this one here now it is actually fitting now that you can see the thing is now covering this no azak that's why i said you should have just brought it in here come and position it somewhere around here until your photo library come here and just look look it wherever it is and where is it here? so this is it i'm gonna just go and position it here position it here okay so all right so we can now save our design so it's not even having address because it's just like if it's a, a it's not having address it's not having venue it's just a random flag so you can click on this uh, click on save to gallery click on the image now make sure it's in jpeg now or png anyone you can click on ok to save it's going to save so when it saves you can just take it to this application adobe photoshop express i like it compared to all right so this is the one i i saved before i did on pscc so uh, you come to this side i come to highlight and reduce the light lighting a bit and i tampered with the, the shadows too i made it okay so i came to color and I added a bit of vibrance to it. Don't worry. Then we had texture to it. About five. We added twenty-five. We had clarity to it. You can see how the details on our face is coming out. You can de-ease it. Give us some of the ease around. So before and after. So you see the text that noise event is even coming now, popping out a bit. So this had about some noise. Too sharp. Huh? Beautiful. So I'll come to color mix. There are more yellows there. I can just come to the yellows and move it towards that direction. So this is what I have. So this is what I have. All right. So I can call this. So if you still feel you need to hard, you want to hard to hit, you can hard, but but you can hard, but. I'm good with this. Then you just click on this button, this one, to save. And your design will be saved to your gallery. I'm not saving, I have it before. So that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.